Oh my gosh. Oh, it's apps. Oh my gosh. So it was five days in 2012 that completely changed your life. So it all started on February the 22nd. It was a, a normal evening, chaotic with the children. Um, our youngest son, George, just fell ill completely unexpectedly and started to fit at home. Taken to the hospital where incredible staff tried their best to, to save our son, but sadly within two hours of being admitted, Georgie passed away. But we got through those few days, you know, the, the love, support of our family, the community, our friends, it was, it was phenomenal and we were okay. We would get through this. We had a strong family unit, but sadly, Five days after Georgie died, um, Paul went out in the car and never came home again. He, he took his own life. He felt that he'd failed our family. He felt as a father he should have done more for our family. And me and the children were left to come to terms with both losses then. So then you developed To Wish Upon a Star. What exactly does the charity do and how does it help? people who have been through bereavement. So the journey starts with the family as soon as the child passes away. Um, we just wanted families to know straight away that there was somebody to look after them and that they weren't alone in this journey. We have so many people thanking us, even if we don't do anything, because they know... You're there. They're there. Yeah, which is exactly what you and wanted. That's all I, yeah. And that's all I've ever wanted. So Rian has had a beautiful bench dedicated to her and her work outside Glamorgan Hospital. And we're going to reveal it to her for the very first time with some special guests. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's apt. Oh my gosh. Those words. Yeah. It's just amazing. Never forgetting the family that is here is so, you know, my my family, without my mum and dad, my sister, my kids, I, would, I don't know where I'd be today. Through that window is where our little boy, our George, died. We were out here in the rain, just stood around waiting for what we hoped would be good news. And it didn't happen, you know, so to have this space, it just means the world. And I hope it helps not just the families, but the staff who work here, who are all phenomenal people. I don't think people at the National Lottery and the people who contribute towards the lottery have, have a clue really how the massive impact this has because we've quadrupled the number of families we've supported and that's because of the National Lottery. The bench is one of a series designed by Jay Blades to thank individuals and communities who've gone above and beyond during the pandemic. Thanks to National Lottery players, £30 million is raised every week for good causes and projects across the UK. 